All right, we have a new one in today, and this is little Bailey. Bailey is a mini Aussie, and she is here for really one main thing, and that is reactivity, meaning uh, people approaching her while she's in the car, or people coming in the house, uh, going crazy, acting like she's gonna rip your face off, uh, that sort of thing, lunging on the leash, and then also she's very possessive. So the other dog in the house, she had a problem of letting the other dog come up on the couch, that kind of thing. <laughs> what I found with her though is she's not aggressive so much, is she's kind of just a big scaredy cat more than anything. Because when I when I approached her when I when I went and picked her up, when I approached her, she started to lunge at the through the car window at me and bark. But when she realized I wasn't backing away, she went and hit on mom's lap. So kind of one of those deals. Uh, one thing we have to get under control is her walking on a leash. I'm gonna show you how she does with that right now. <laughs> See what I mean? Like very uh, set in her ways and kind of like you're not gonna tell me what to do that easily. That's kind of her attitude. Um, but this, she's gonna do great. Uh, right off the bat, I got her out of the truck, took her over to my wife who was sitting on the front porch. There was no problem. Uh, she doesn't wanna be, uh, she doesn't want people to just reach out and pet her. But if you just kind of ignore her and observe her from a distance, she calms down pretty quick. It's that initial, that initial introduction that uh, kind of sets her off a little bit. But we were in the car, driving home. I stopped in a drive-through. Normally that would set her off and she'd be trying to eat the person's face off in the drive-through. I saw her kind of perk up and get that look in her face like she wanted to start going crazy and I just kind of snapped my fingers, told her to knock it off and sit down. And she did, and uh, she was fine. So just catching it in time was a big part of it. But uh, more than anything, it's just gonna be getting her to understand how to interact. She knows some commands, but she only knows them when she wants to know them. She's definitely not gonna listen if she's already distracted at something else or already reacting to something else. So as you can see, there's no healing. It's just her trying to go the opposite direction of me the whole time. I'm gonna have that taken care of in probably a, a couple days at the most. And then after I get her walking nicely, then things will start picking up good. But she is actually a very, kind of a sweet dog. <laughs> Look at her. Hi, baby. So once she she got to know me within a couple hours, and she was giving me kisses, she was putting her paws up on my lap. No, no, where's she? Come here. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, what a sweet, what a little sweetheart. Yes, come here. Come on. Oh. Oh, just a doll. Just a doll. All right. So there's good look at Bailey. You can kind of see she's skittish, and you know she wants to. She wants to do it. She just doesn't know how. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna teach her how to calm down and uh, have a little bit, have some social manners. All righty. Toodles.